up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with the Emmy Award winning, Grammy Award winning, Oscar Award winning, and Tony Award winning Whoopi Goldberg. Sneakers for me have always been part of my life. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what she's feeling, what she's not, and then hopefully she's gonna buy some sneakers. Oh, yes, Joe, I will do that. Let's I'm gonna go. go where Joe goes. I'm gonna follow him. Whoopi, we're here for Nobody's Fool, but you always wore sneakers in your movies. You always made a point to wear them. I remember the Jumping Jack Flash cover Reeboks. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. even back then, you were a big sneaker person. Yeah, I wanted to be comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can do the heel thing forever, but if I can wear a pair of sneakers, I'm just happier. It was Reebok Classics a lot, right? Oftentimes, but you know, the colors were really vibrant. Nobody had seen anything like them before. And I, so I got them in every, every color that they had. And then they did this amazing collaboration with Alien, yeah. the movie, mm -hmm. uh, with Sigourney Weaver. And those... I think there might have been the Alien Stompers. I'm telling you, they, to me, they were the greatest ever. Yeah. But yeah, I was a real Reebok girl. And even to the Golden Globes, you won the Golden Globe for a color purple in yeah. Reebok yes, freestyle. Yes, I did. You think they would remember that, but you know, I look, you get a little older, people forget all the stuff that you did, but sneakers for me have always been part of my life. Yeah. You know, whether it was with my brother who always wore the chucks and, you know, always wanting to wear them and them not having them yeah. for girls. And now seeing this amazing explosion of, of sneakers and they're being accepted as footwear for any time. And I, I just love that. I love that. One thing I saw, Frank Ocean wore Vans to the White House. Yes, and there did. was some controversy like, oh, how could you wear sneakers to the White House? And you stuck up for him and you said, when I went to the White House, I was always wearing sneakers. He was wearing the checkerboard Vans. Yeah, I mean, it's like, Number one, if that's what's freaking you out, you got more time on your hands than you know. The man is at the White House, mm -hmm. Frank Ocean. Yeah. You know, and he gets to be whoever he is. When he goes, that's who he is. That's the beauty of, of being an American and going to the White House, or it was. And did you back then, did people look at you weird for wearing sneakers at all, these events? All the time. You know, why are you doing that? Why are you wearing, because because you are suffering and you look like you're suffering. <laughs> so when the camera comes around on you, you like this. Right. Because your feet hurt. Yeah. They come around to me, I'm like, <laughs> because right. I'm comfortable and I don't care what people think about what I'm wearing. You know, this is, this is a moment in time. Whoopi, one thing I love is that you wear kind of outlandish looking sneakers, but you also mix and match sneakers. Yes. We saw that you wore two different Pharrells. Yes. When do you decide to do that and like step out your own way? Well, I just think what will be most interesting for me if I look down? Perfect, yeah. <laughs> so that's how I do it. I wish I could say it was deeper than that, but I'm not that thoughtful. Gotcha. And do you like Pharrell's collaboration? I love Pharrell's mm -hmm. collaborations. I just think it's really smart and really wonderful, and, and it gets people sort of talking and thinking, you yeah. know, and I, I love all of these. Sneaker prices are kind of funny sometimes, yeah. so I try to stay outside of the craziness, the special yeah. thing. Yeah. I like the boring stuff over, here, over there. Another collaboration we got to talk about, Kanye. You've been vocal recently about Kanye and, and the things he's been saying. Do we separate the art from the artist? Yeah, you have to. People who create stuff mm -hmm. sometimes are out there. Yeah. And I just feel like, you know, I can't judge anybody's craziness. Right. You know, I have my own. We all do, yeah. <laughs> you know, so is what he's creating you know, worthwhile, does it last? Is it beyond just the name value? Mm -hmm. You know, because it's fine to have name value, but you want quality. You want it to last a little while because some of these shoes are pricey. Yep, definitely. And unless you are <laughs> making a whole bunch of money, you're saving up for your stuff. So you sure. want it to last a little while. You wore yellow foam posits. All the sneaker blogs on the internet Covered Lost them. their minds, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then you said they were one of your favorite shoes because you liked how kind of like left of center they were. Yeah, they just are, you know, you could be from anywhere. You could be from Mars, you could yep. be from anywhere. And if you're like me, this is the closest to um, hobbits. Okay. This is as close to a hobbit foot as you're gonna get. Let me just touch those one more time because those are yeah. the paranormals. 
Crazy rare. Crazy Thousands rare. of dollars. Thousands of dollars. I never had those. <laughs> but you had these. I think you I even had, had the, ga the Galaxy had a, ones. I've had sure. several of them. Yeah, I love them. I just think they're fun. And, yeah. and, you know, they didn't bore me. And I think to myself, well, you know, if you're going to have something on your foot all day long, yeah. it might as well be fun. I mean, those would look fantastic on you. Yeah? Yeah. These? No, no, down. These? Down. Nah. No? Oh, these? <laughs> those would be yeah, fly phones. on you. Big Nick fan sitting courtside. Did you ever see Jordan play? Let me tell you about Michael Jordan. I had a big brother, and Michael looked just like him. And once we were at the garden, I'm sitting with my brother, and Michael's playing, and he's going back and forth. But every time he goes past, he looks, he <laughs> looks. And, you know, he stands, and then he turns around, and he's looking at my brother. <laughs> this is what my brother did. Nice. This is Michael. <laughs> and it was great. It was great. That's awesome. Yeah, I listen, he to me is still the epitome of what a, a great athlete is. Definitely. Also magic too. Yeah. You know, of all of all of these guys, you know. This past September, you were all over Fashion Week. John Elliott, which is like a big brand for Complex. Mm -hmm. We cover him all the time. You were next to LeBron and Bieber. What was it like to go to those Fashion Week events and see like, you know, the new streetwear? Well, it's nice to see everybody catching up with me. Okay, yeah. Quite honestly, I mean, I don't mean to brag, but you know, this is what I've always worn. And now it's called something and there are all kinds of people wearing it and looking, but, but you know, I used to get all kind of crap from people. Why are you dressed like that? Because it's comfortable. Exactly. Because <laughs> I like it. Well, we respect the originator. We talked about everything. <laughs> now the easy part, you get to browse the shelves, see what you're going to take home. Love it. Let's do it. These. Nice. Um, these. These are nice. Yeah. I want to find a, a great little pair for someone who wears a size 10 and is this tall. Gotcha. So your total is going to be $12.89 and 8 cents. Okay. And 8 cents? Yeah. Where the, <laughs> where the 8 cents come from? I find this to be very strange sticking a card in there like that. I don't know why. So come back again. I might have to take one more loop around <laughs> just to make sure. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. It's more to be bought. So, Whoopi, thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks for letting me hang. Told some great stories. Make sure you check out Nobody's Fool in theaters right now and The View every weekday at 11 a.m. <laughs> Bye.